So I know you can barely see me. So I know you guys are probably wondering how I'm surviving here in Washington, D.C. And I've been here for 28, 29 nights now. Um, I came for a month. And so in this video, I'm showing you how where I've been at at night. The majority of the nights that I've been here in DC National Gallery of Art here in Washington, D.C. Actually, if you check one of my channels, you can, my YouTube channels, you can see, one of the channels, you can see that you can actually see the visit to this museum. And actually, this is the second building. There are two buildings, but up there is the big rooster. And in the video, I look down here at these trees. And this is the particular tree that I look at sometimes at night as I'm laying here. Like I said, I've been here a month, and most probably 10 of the 30 nights I've been here, or maybe 15, I've been here this, on this bench. I think the first night I might have been in the next one down there. street there. I mean, there's a number of homeless people in D.C. and they sleep some sleeping tents. There's like probably 10 tents, like 5 to 10 tents on the Union Station. I'm at Union Station in the yard there in front of Union Station and there's tents around town. But I just figured with the two comforters, I should be able to survive the D.C. winter. Supposing that we'll only get down to 32, maybe 31. And that's pretty much the, the low it's been. But here lately, it's been hitting that low kind of regularly. For the day lows at like 28, I think, was the lowest. But today is actually, it's probably midnight, so it's the 29th. And I'm almost, it's almost been a month up. Explored DC the entire time I've videoed. I've, um, Explored DC and seen a lot of stuff, learned a lot of things about the city, and even here. Like sometimes when I look back, if I'm sitting, if I'm laying here, yeah, it's me. It's me. Yeah, it's me. So if I'm laying here, on my bag, by the way, I have this tarp here as well. Underneath the bag, I got this for the rain because since I've been here, it's been probably like. Three, maybe, um, maybe like uh, three nights. I mean, last night, it, it, I think I said it was four nights. Behind me is the Prettyman Courthouse, so the E. Barrett Prettyman Courthouse is the District of the uh, Columbia Court. And then there's the Department of Labor. And when I look behind me here, as you can see, you might not be able to see what it is from here. Straight down there, beyond the trees, is the United States of America Capitol building. And then here again, and they were doing some construction there, but that's the National Gallery of Art. And this is the tree that I look at it sometimes. When I'm laying here about to go to sleep in security, they roll around here every night and the police are surrounded by police. It's just like, hold off, it's probably been like 10 or 15. These cars just like running past each other and sometimes I see them out here parked and there's security police that work here at the National Galleries and they walk past here during the night or ride past in their trolleys and stuff. But, yeah, we're here in Washington. And here's the National Gallery of Art. Same thing here on this bench. I've been in probably 10 or 15 of the nights here. And tonight, 
I'm using two of both buckets. As you can see, I have the brown in there too. This blue, this blue, green, and white, the gray and white one that I have, I got there in North Carolina, the city um, that I was in for a couple months before I came here. Dark County, North Carolina. And then I got this brown one, which is a little bit larger, but it's not necessarily warmer. It still will keep me above freezing, keep me slightly warm, but this one, the white one, because of the material that it's insulated with, it keeps me. just in case like I remember when I was in Boston and I had bought one from the Goodwill there and it kind of got like really cold um, and my feet were cold so I was like I hadn't had that problem except one night I don't know why it happened that one night but I got cold feet so I was like the next night I'm gonna actually pull my second comforter out and use it that's the only reason I didn't give it to someone else too just in case I just wanted to have it um, my bottom tab with it all the way down to my feet and as you can see the tarp is actually an 8 by 10 tarp or like a 12 um, 12 like this thing is 8 feet by 10 feet but it's so uh, actually it's brown on the inside of it, but it's actually silver or gray. So I got it folded in half and I released it the entire way. It's also, can you see it here? It's also here. So it reaches all the way to the end of the bed. I got that because in rain, like when it rains, I cover myself in this cover. Even in the comforters, I cover myself in the tarp because the tarp is rain resistant, as is my army um, bag. But the army bag, I don't know, it's magic. Like, if it gets wet, it'll be dry and, like, without the sun in, like, a matter of minutes. I don't know how long it takes, but I just remember getting to the laundromat because I didn't get wet completely underneath the tarp, but somehow when that morning I got. Probably 20% my comforter probably got 20 or less, 10 20%, but I don't know the edges. Somehow the rain got the edges, got the edges of the comforter or some part of it. So I had to take it to the laundromat. And um, so yeah, so that's what I've been, the whole time I've been here in D.C., I've been sleeping outside. Homeless, and I'm just not homeless is not new for me because I've been homeless. Technically speaking, since 2013, because even like right now, I'm getting food stamps from New York City, and I'm like on their emergency placement house and their emergency placement housing, so I can go there for my caseworker to get like housing, sucky housing, I would say, but housing, and it's a shelter. It's just like a specialized one, with a, like. It, they tricked the shit out of me because they were like, we'll give you a hotel room if you, if you had an HIV diagnosis, we'll give you a hotel room. And I'm like, okay, I can do that. I have an HIV diagnosis. And um, when I got to the room, I realized it wasn't a hotel room at all. It's like a shelter. And I mean, compared to the shelter, I don't know which one is better, safer, because at least at the shelter, you know what to expect. And... You know it's gonna be BS, but it's pretty much the same thing. Even though it's, you get your private, your pri a private room. Anyways, but so I've been homeless ever since. I've slept outdoors many times, and when not, I'm in that situation in shelter. There was a time when I was recently, oh yeah, I was at a hotel for seven months. But even the way I paid for it. Word it panhandling, which is basically a homeless function, isn't it? It's homeless as hell. So, like, you know, I don't know if I'm trying to get a real estate. I know that I love this piece right here. The white stone in it, like Ellie Rivard. And one next door is even bigger than this. It's like so many square feet.
But yeah, they're doing construction right there. And that's the other way around. So maybe I'll show you. I was going to do a video. I'm surprised I'm doing this video now because, um, yeah, this is my homeless video. Showing you how I'm going to survive a homeless. It was raining right now. Yeah, I need to stop somewhere. But I've kind of figured out how to use it. But I've had to, I've made three trips to the laundry you know, to dry it, wash it. Once we dry. I don't know, please forget. But there, there are like zero degree comforters. What up, sweetie? I'm gonna show you. Oh yeah. Um. So, oh, I was gonna do a video. I was gonna show you three places because there's three places I've stayed. This one's been. The, I think I've been here the most nights. Probably thirty nights. I've been here at least 10 or 12, 15 of the nights. Then around the corner between the Indian Museum, the, I mean the Museum, the National Museum of um, American Indian and the Voice of America, which I can kind of like say, I feel like I'm the Voice of America. Yeah. Okay, by the way, America, I could use your help to get me out of this homeless situation. Will you please donate? Go to my website. My name is Devon Chadwick White. That's um, DCW, DCW. Actually, my initials are DCW twice. DCW, DCW.com. So, yeah, you can donate there so that I don't be homeless no more. I already know which house I want. You can donate. Other than that, um, For once, it's not the police, it's the comments in the District of Columbia ambulance. Um, but yeah, it gets busy, and I'm not too busy on this particular street. But yeah, the other spot, I was going to show you in the video, the place where I've been staying. There's only four branches here, and this one, there's a double bench, so there's this bench, and then there's one on this side. 